up, yeah, good morning. Caffeine in the car. Mm. So that's, I'm in my car, so that means my girlfriend is home, <laughs> as you know. Uh, so today's Monday of me making this video. Usually I try to do my live streams today, but like uh, the girlfriend, she took the day off because last night we went to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? We went to the SoFi Stadium up in Inglewood. Um, it's a very brand new stadium and it's very nice, you know. Obviously I'll be sharing some pictures of uh, the stadium itself. It's, it's really cool. It's very nice. Also, like, uh, the thing I liked about it is that it was pretty well structured and organized, meaning that, like, off the freeway, we're just able to get in, you know, not wait a lot. We found parking very close by, you know, they have it sectioned off like by zones, like, you know, red zone, brown zone, green zone. Uh, we parked in uh, a blue zone, so it's, you know, sectioned off, right? The seats were pretty actually comfortable, you know, they had a lot of like vendors all over the place, so there wasn't like massive lines to get food or drinks or anything like that. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, my girlfriend, she has an American Express card, and um, I guess one of the perks about having an American Express card is that like you have early access to events like, say, the concerts, right? They're like, before the tickets went to sell for like the general public, uh, people that had an American Express card, I guess they were able to like buy the tickets ahead of time for maybe like a week or something like that so she was able to get some seats right um if you're wondering i think uh that was like 300 dollars the ticket <laughs> yeah i was up there my girlfriend surprised me with this she's like hey we're gonna see the chili peppers I'm like oh really oh cool yeah it's gonna i need 300 dollars from you <laughs> for my ticket you know she got her ticket you know and parking so not bad get you a girl that, that has no problem going halfies with you right <laughs> shit uh, i love my girlfriend yeah we had a blast that was fun I didn't drink. At the moment, I'm not drinking. And the fucking beers there were like $20 for a 24 ounce can. Fuck that. So, because I wasn't drinking, my, dr my drunk ass would have like paid over 100 bucks to just beer in itself because I'm stupid like that. But, so I was like, fuck it. I bought myself a shirt. It's like the front of the shirt. Maybe get a little closer to see the detail of it. Pretty neat, right? Then the back has the name of the, the tour. Unlimited Love World Tour. It says Real Chili Peppers and that swirls basically is all the locations where they're they played at. You know, like the tour area, like the venues or the cities, states and all that good stuff. Yeah, so forty-five dollars. Well well tax was like close to fifty bucks, right? But I was like, you know whatever. I'm actually trying to upgrade my fucking like clothes, you know? I actually promised myself, you know, I turned 40 and I promised myself I'm not gonna become one of those like aging fucking old guys that like all oh, wear Hawaiian shirts or shit like that. Fuck that. Uh, recently I went to like uh, a monster convention, a Halloween convention up in Long Beach and you know, I got myself a cool shirt from a vendor. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check out his stuff, right? He designs like metal influence shirts, right? But they all have like, uh, I don't know, say like Disney characters or just certain like uh, non-threatening types of <laughs> imagery. So I got the Mandalorian uh, shirt, which I really like. I didn't get much footage of Midsummer Scream. Uh, the reason for that is that um, it's a fucking pain in the ass to film with my phone. I have a gimbal, you know, and I usually been like, uh, when I go to these events, I'll like, you know, pull out my phone, I'll fucking attach it to the gimbal. Then I'll walk around and film and all that. And like, it's really a fucking pain in the ass and it's very cumbersome, right? And I just didn't feel like doing that to be honest, right? Actually, more down the line, I'm thinking I'm going to invest on in a smaller camera that I can actually, you know, just pull out and walk around with, right? Um, I've seen people walk around with, like, something that looks like a gimbal, but the camera is smaller, right? And then, like, you know, that'd be a lot easier instead of me using my phone because it's such a pain in the ass. I've actually dropped my phone a couple of times, you know, and I scratched it, so I don't want to deal with that shit, you know, trying to, like, attach it to the gimbal. You know, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know, I just didn't want to deal with it, so unfortunately, I didn't, like, get much footage of, like, a Midsummer Scream. Uh, to share with you guys, right? So, you know, sorry about that, but, you know, like I said, I'm gonna get myself another camera so I can, like, do that. Because, yeah, filming with the phone has been a pain in the ass. And, uh, also, I'm, you know, trying to, like, uh, catch up on some fucking personal videos, right? Which is kind of, like, uh, the point of me making this video. I want to give some updates on what's going on, uh, between work, you know, working with Paul, my channel, and, uh, what I plan on doing and other good stuff, right? And also, I just want to, I guess, uh, make a video to reach out to you guys, and I want to say uh, some personal stuff, right? If you guys have been following me, I mean, most of you have. The beginning of this year, right? Sometime in December, I made a video saying that, like, you know, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all this shit. And I said that, you know what, I'm gonna, like, focus on making new content, right? I want to become, uh, not necessarily, like, a big YouTuber, but I just want to, like, make more content, make more tutorials and all this stuff. 
Uh, I was planning on doing live streams and all that shit, so I kept my word. I started to make more content for my channel. I started live streaming and all the good stuff, and like, actually, I'm very happy how things are going. Another thing I basically said out loud in my YouTube channels in the when the year started is that like um, my goal is to basically I want to create more friends, you know. I actually want to create like a new social circle of buddies, you know, to hang out with and chat and all the good shit, right? Not to get all mopey on you motherfuckers, but straight out, I want to say thank you guys because you guys have been like kick ass and like uh, I'm very glad to see that's happening. My Monday streams has been fun. Like I didn't, I'm just very, very <laughs> surprised and happy how things are going with that. You guys have been stopping by and hanging out, you know, we've been playing. Uh, you know, uh, Jeremy, you know, thank you. He bought me the Hell Let Loose video games. You know, I'm, I stream playing with them guys. You know, I'm starting to learn how to use Discord a bit more so I can, like, you know, communicate with you guys. So there's a lot that, like, the channel has been helping me improve personally and also as well as, like, understanding more about, like, uh, what's available out there for me to be able to be in touch with uh, you guys more, right? You know, like I said, using Discord, understanding how to, like, stream on YouTube stuff like that right this has been going very good and i just want to say thank you guys deep down you guys kick ass dude. thank you so much i really appreciate you guys like uh you know hanging out with me and like becoming my online buddies right i really appreciate you guys big time all right so i want to i'm gonna respond to two questions right um since i'm not doing a live stream today i guess i just want to like make this video a little bit longer just to like chat with you guys and respond to some questions and comments now the first thing uh, someone asked me uh, juan caro you know shout out to him he has been helping me out um I started playing control and I had I got lost and it was helping me out big time like where to go to go through like the level because I was a dumbass I wasn't reading like the the science or whatever the fuck to like know where to go right so he was he was a big help but um he asked me a question about like um if Paul pays me per video or if I get salary or something like that right and basically my response was that you know I'm salary I don't get paid by video right I was gonna give him an answer during my live stream but I'm just gonna like uh go over it really quick on this video you know when I started working with him yeah he paid me per video right um by the time I was like working between actually three jobs you know I was working with Paul on and off right he would give me like one video either once a week or once every other week or something like that it wasn't really consistent right um I was working in construction with my dad still like during the day and then on the weekends I had the graveyard shift of fucking working at Walgreens right just one time like I just uh, basically asked him straight out I'm like dude um I want to work with him more but I definitely need to be paid more consistently right so I basically told him if he can give me a salary I can quit my other two jobs, you know, Walgreens and construction, and I can just focus on him, right? And the deal with that was that I can just basically make myself available to help him out whenever he needed me, right? He can throw whatever video he wants. Uh, if we go to Vegas or Taiwan, uh, either way, it'll just be like the same flat rate, right? Uh, for me, that's fair because, like I said, I just didn't want to fucking work in construction and do like the Walgreens thing anymore. That just sucked ass. And also, like, by him giving me like a uh, you know, consistent amount of money every month, I'm able to like budget myself for my rent, my gas, and you know, pay my bills and all the other stuff, right? So, uh, for me, honestly, being paid salary works for me, right? Um, if you are in a situation where you want to you know if you want to be paid per, you want to charge per video, that's totally different, right? So that's gonna depend on you. In my case, I work with Paul consistently, so being paid salary, it helps out. Um, if I was to work with someone that maybe I work with him on one big project every other month or something like that, then that's totally different, right? Then that'll be per, per project, right? Uh, that'll probably make more sense, right? But working with Paul, it, it works with me, right? Also like, um, but him like paying me salary, it helps me to be more available to help him. Not only in uh, video wise, but like, you know, say like in this case, you know, he needed help to like, you move into his office or paint and all that stuff. Um, I'm able to, and I'm glad to, right? I'm not obligated to like do a lot of the shit that he asked me to do on mid, right? And you know, there's been times where it gives me the option, hey, if you want to come over, you can. If not, you can stay home or whatever. But for the most part, because you know, I like helping him and you know, he's my buddy. We hang out, we have a good time, you know, just bullshitting. I'm more than happy to go help him out, right? So, uh, anyways, in the long run, it benefits me the way I see it, right? If I help him, you know, get settled to get his office going, then it's going to benefit me, right? To, like, you know, make more content and get that going and all the good stuff, right? So, I got no problem, like, uh, helping him out more than i supposed to or more than I need to, right? So, you know, it's cool as whatever. The plan is, like, once we get settled with, like, the office, you know, he's going to set me up with, like, uh, a desk and all that stuff. And we're going to, like, uh, go back to um, scheduling to create more content for the channel and all that stuff, right? For his channel. 
right? At the time, it's kind of been difficult because we're moving, right? So he's only been doing maybe like uh, tech news and one video a week. So once we're more settled, he wants to do three videos a week, right? Say the tech news and two other, say like a build or some other random video and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, that, that's our goal. Another question I want to respond is from my buddy Jeremy, aka fucker. <laughs> He left a comment slash question on my last video about like uh, creating a following and like um, the first part of his comment was basically saying that like um, because I work with Paul, you know, have more direct access through his um, viewership, right? So that may have like brought in some of like attention towards my channel and stuff like that. And also like because of that, I probably like attract some weird people that like they want uh, maybe through me, they, gonna tr they ask if I can try to like connect them with Paul, you know, crazies as you call them, Jeremy. So I guess I want to respond to that. In regards to like uh, Paul's viewership helping me out or that draws more attention to my channel. Obviously, yeah, I, I, I'm aware of that, <laughs> to be honest. I started working with Paul and then it wasn't until like maybe two or three years after I've been working with Paul that I started making more videos, little by little, doing some tutorials, you know, mainly more for fun, right? You know, I tried doing gameplay videos and this and that and like, I don't know, I just got to a point where like, you know what, I'm just going to have more fun with it, right? Like I said, at the beginning of this year, um, I decided I'm just going to like start making more content for the channel, you know, such as this, you know, responding to questions and, you know, comments and other stuff. Uh, we're doing more tutorials, you know, I do learn a lot because uh, I do study a lot on my software. So I decided to start making more tutorials on what I learned, what I know, this and that. And actually, like I said, and the response has been good, right? I'm aware that Paul's viewership does help. And also that's, I'll be honest, that's something I wanted to take advantage of, right? I have the opportunity to have more viewership, you know, than if I was to start off flat with nothing, right? So I'm like, all right, let's go for it, right? But that being said, um, I guess I mentioned before, I promised myself to be myself 100%, right? Because two, two reasons. One, um, I want to attract crowds that think like me or act like me or can understand me right that we have like the same like sense of humor or whatever right so i'm i promise myself to be more myself not be universal fuck that <laughs> also about me being myself you know cursing making bad jokes or whatever that does obviously deter people from like watching more of my content right now that's probably not what most people will want to do you obviously want to keep more of your viewership right but what I want is basically what I'm having right now. I actually want to have like a group of people that I can chat with, have fun with, this and that. Have that grow and it's happening, right? And, you, know, you know, I said that, you know, the video about you know, creating your following, you know, the stuff, right? Uh, but me being more of myself, I'm more comfortable making these videos, you know, in a consistent manner. I give me more of myself and have fun with it. And then, you know, I'm getting the response of like, you know, getting people to actually, you know, they, they vibe with me, right? You guys like, like my content. And then like, you know, you guys leave a comment, I respond and, you know, keep it going, right? Uh, in regards to crazies or, you know, people trying to like, you know, reach Paul through me and this and that. Um, for the most part, the crazy part, um, I'll be honest, when I started to appear more on Paul's YouTube videos, um, I did notice that I did get more of a, a pushback, not necessarily like something negative, like, you know, fuck this guy, yada yada, it's more like, stupid you know obviously you, you can get internet trolls that's inevitable right but i did get some people be like oh this guy's a beaner or who's this wet back you know stupid shit like that you know it wasn't a lot don't get me wrong i mean i did notice it early on like just that kind of like you know stupid internet but garbage right i guess as time went on where people knew who i was or they started to like the way how i edit they learned more about me they like my personality i noticed that become less and less and less right so yeah like uh the stupid angry shit or trolling or whatever yeah definitely became less over time like the more it became more out in the open who i am like in the sense of like i'm paul's editor this is me whatever right <laughs> maybe that could be a lesson to you like you know if you're gonna start becoming more out in the open in the sense that you're making content for yourself you know you're being in front of the camera and you get some bad you have some stupid comments it's just gonna happen right well they criticize you because of your race your hair your fucking teeth you know the size of your body or whatever you know the fucking internet can be ruthless right but that's the thing you gotta be learned to like cut through that shit but yeah fuck you and just focus on the people that are actually cool with you right uh that's what you need to do ignore the haters and focus on the people that are chill like you guys you guys are my buddies you know i'm just focusing more on you fuck the rest in regards to people trying to like uh go through me to reach paul um that has happened not necessarily like uh fans but more like um more people that are trying to like be market you know like they try to like sell a product yeah i've had people like uh ask me to reach out to paul so they can promote like a website you know software mainly um maybe a mouse or something like that you know a little thing like that um 
I actually had vendors or uh, representatives to reach towards me through um, a Twitter asking me if you know if I want to like you know use one of their products for whatever say like a keyboard or some shit like that I guess when I get to that point where I feel more comfortable if I get more of a following or whatever and like maybe uh, I can like start showing products on my channel I really don't know I mean I don't I haven't thought that far to be honest right but if I get to that point cool but at least again I just want to be make sure that I do this in a manner that I feel comfortable and I can just be myself be like oh this is product it's a piece of shit fuck this you know I want to be able to have that freedom to do it, right? And uh, just, I guess, to end the video, uh, crazies, you know, like, again, for being the internet, I'm actually surprised I haven't really got much fucking hate or it. Or, actually, everything's been fine. Uh, like I said, I, when I started the YouTube channel, I want to make sure I avoided all that fucking internet drama, so... Uh, before YouTube decided to remove the dislike um, a counter, I actually disabled all the likes and dislikes on my video, right? Now, the reason why I did that is because, you know, just for people to avoid the fucking people that want to be dicks and they just thumb down the video just to be assholes. You know, I want to avoid those people. Uh, anybody that leaves a negative comment, either through Twitter or my YouTube channel, I just block them or mute them. You know, I just don't want to deal with it. I don't respond to any hate or anything like that. I don't want to get involved with any fucking stupid internet drama. I'm not going to do any internet gossip, nothing like that. My, my channel is strictly for me to hang out with you and to chat. That's mainly my goal with my YouTube channel. So far, like, it's happening and it's improving. I'm so fucking happy how things are going, right? And on the final note, I've been so fucking far behind on creating content. Like I said, like, usually when I have an idea for a tutorial or a video, I'll make a note of it on my calendar, right, on the day that I want to film it. So I can film it and edit it and upload it, right? But because Paul has been, like, needing my help a lot to move into his new office, I'm so fucking, like, backed up on, uh, video ideas that I'm gonna like just you know what this whole week I'm just gonna like focus on filming and editing my own shit <laughs> I literally have about maybe 20 videos that you know I need to fucking film editing is pretty fast for me so it's not a big of a deal it's just a matter of me sitting down and you know filming and doing screen capturing doing my tutorials and all the stuff like that so this whole week I'm just gonna like take advantage of like being paw free and just like you know film my own content right so that's my goal uh, for that, so, um, then when Paul comes back, you know, I already have shit edited and filmed so I can just, like, start uploading my own videos and then go back to my schedule of, like, uh, streaming and all that good stuff, right? Definitely want to, like, set up a day so I can, like, you know, play some, like, uh, Hell Let Loose with you guys, right? So, anyways, I'm gonna end the video with that. Thank you guys so much again. Seriously, thank you guys for, like, uh, being a part of, like, the journey. And, yeah, I'm very happy how things are going, right? Super happy how things are going. Alright, so I have to say thanks again. Take care and peace.